the lower Iawadi Delta of Myanmar, flooding is a recurring problem during the wet season. These townships are also prone to salt intrusion throughout the dry season and during the early stages of the wet season. Rice farmers in these areas mostly grow traditional, low-yielding varieties. Some traditional varieties are preferred because of their taste and aroma. New high-yielding, short-duration varieties are usually not available, and so farmers have limited options to combat flooding or saline intrusion. In some villages, the long duration of these traditional varieties and the high salt content in the soil prevent farmers from planting more than one rice crop a year. Other villages have access to fresh water all year and grow two crops of rice annually. The International Rice Research Institute, or IRI, has been working with Myanmar's Department of Agricultural Research, Department of Agriculture, and non-government organizations to provide new options for rice production along the coastal areas of the Iawadi Delta. To introduce high-yielding varieties for the favorable areas and stress-tolerant varieties for the salt and flood-prone areas, Farmers were encouraged to join trials on Participatory Varietal Selection, or PVS. Farmers became involved in testing rice varieties in their own fields and selecting those with traits that they preferred the most. Participatory Varietal Selection is a simple way for breeders, agronomists, and extension staff to learn which varieties will be adapted better and faster under farmers' conditions. Conventional breeding programs test varieties in research stations, which do not represent farmers' fields. Also, varietal release systems prioritize grain yield, while farmers often look for other traits when choosing varieties. PVS trials include formal steps in which farmers share their opinions and preferences about the rice varieties being evaluated. The first phase starts with a researcher-managed or mother trial. 12 to 15 varieties that have been approved for release at the national level or are about to be released are compared with local varieties. Managed by researchers, the trials are repeated within a farmer's field or over fields at different sites. The next step is preference analysis. Here, farmers, agricultural extension staff, and researchers go to the field and choose the top three or four rice genotypes and varieties that they observe to perform well and that can be suitable to farmers' own conditions and needs. Once the selected top varieties are harvested, dried, and milled, their eating and cooking qualities are assessed through sensory evaluation. Results of the preference analysis and sensory evaluation and grain yield are used to identify the best performing and most suitable varieties in the area. The top three or four varieties are then recommended for seed multiplication by the Department of Agricultural Research or DAR and other seed producers. The seeds that will be produced by DAR are used by a selected number of farmers in the next phase of the PVS, the Farmer Managed or Baby Trials. In these trials, farmers receive 5 to 10 kilograms of seeds of 1 to 3 new selected varieties. They will plant them in larger plots in their fields along with their own varieties for comparison. Farmers themselves test the genotypes or varieties in their own fields using their resources and management practices. After harvesting, farmers compare the average yield of the new varieties with that of their own varieties. They then choose one to two varieties that they like the most and are suitable to their conditions. To sustain the availability of quality seeds in the community, 
selected farmers will produce seeds in their farms with technical guidance from project staff. Results of the baby trials will be the basis for which varieties will be recommended for seed production, as sources for commercial planting by a larger number of farmers in target villages. However, only released varieties will be commercially produced by DAR and other accredited seed producers. Some of the farmers from Labutta Township, a region that experiences salt water intrusion and floods, share their insights and experiences on participatory varietal selection. They were all interested and excited when they heard that PVS trials were going to be conducted in their fields. Since our fields are in the saline zone, I was very excited and happy to hear that there are rice varieties that are resistant to salinity. If the trials are successful, we can cultivate two crops per year instead of one. And that is why I happily participated in the trial. Somo Cho preferred one variety that had full grains and outlasted all the other varieties despite the highly saline condition of his field. He and Man Sun Win both realized that these varieties could survive if planted earlier in the next season. Meanwhile, Kin Machi preferred three varieties. They had high yields and very good tillering. They were very fragrant and had good taste and eating quality. Other traits that farmers usually watched out for were tolerance for salt water or floods, early maturity, resistance against pests and diseases, uniform plant height, more grains per panicle, and their preferred grain shape. As for cooked rice, farmers often looked for good taste, white color, aroma, a glossy finish, and, depending on their personal preference, cohesiveness. Aside from discovering new varieties, the farmers also learned what best practices to use in growing their crop through the PVS trials. From my point of view, after working closely with Erie, I think farmers should be interested in joining PVS trials. I learned that instead of using old, traditional varieties, we should start using high-yielding varieties. And instead of planting randomly, we should plant in rows that will help increase yield. Farmers can get more income that way. So I think all farmers should participate in PVS. Previously, Su'u did not follow a specific rate for fertilizer application and only copied the practices of other farmers. Through the PVS trials, he, along with Kin Ma Chi and Man Sun Win, learned how to apply the right amount of fertilizer at the right time. He also came to appreciate the benefits of direct seeding, which is the method of growing rice used in PVS plots. He says that it is good for weed control and sunlight can pass through easily, which is good for the crop. The farmers also found out about proper weed control practices and judicious use of herbicides. Though these farmers have only experienced one PVS trial at this point, they are excited to see the benefits from this activity. Kin Machi says that other farmers became interested in the trials and would like to plant new varieties. The benefits of participatory varietal selection, or PVS trials, have now spread to neighboring villages, reaching more farmers and improving their food security and livelihood with higher yielding and stress-tolerant rice varieties of their choice.